Yo, what's going on YouTube? Onyx on this ultimate team. Uh, as you can see in front of you, new cornerbacks, new NFL draft cornerbacks uh, Monday, which means new silver sets. And um, first off, we're going to start with Jalen Collins. He is the highest overall cornerback. Um, honestly, all these cornerbacks seem pretty similar that came out. It's three of them that came out. Uh, they're all pretty similar. Um, especially Jalen Collins and Eric Rowe, which I already picked Eric Rowe up because he is an Eagle. So I will show you both of them at the same time. Uh, both 95 speed. Jalen Collins has 96 Excel to Eric Rowe's 95 Excel. Uh, Eric Rowe's beating him in agility at 98 with Jalen only having 94 agility. And then their man coverage and zone coverage is basically flipped. Uh, with Jalen having better man and less zone, and Eric has better zone and less man. Um, their press is both pretty good. 95 press for Jalen, 94 press for Eric Rowe. Both are six foot one, um, and Jalen has a little bit better awareness, a little bit better play rec. So, like I said, once again, not too big of a difference between these two. Um, Eric's a little stronger. Eric can catch a little better. Both are still really good at catching, though. Uh, Eric's uh, better in the tackling department. Jump is the same. Uh, block shit's the same. Jalen has a little better pursuit. But for the most part, they're pretty even. Eric hits harder with that 85 hit power. Uh, Jalen has better spec catch. But they're, they're really pretty even cards. Um... Jalen looks better on, as you can see, he has more green lit up on his side just because he has one better excel and one better press. So um, he's not really that much better than the Eric Rowe. They both look like really good cornerbacks, though, and they're both pretty cheap. Uh, Jalen's going for like 45K. Eric Rowe's going for like 30K. Um, both pretty cheap, nice looking corners. It looked like they could be pretty useful even at this point in time. And then the only guy left, the Bills. Hopefully somebody has him up. He's crazy fast. See, you see, he's going for 44K. And the main reason he's going for 44K is that right there. 98 speed, 99 Excel. Even though he's only 5'11", but when you have 98 speed and 99 Excel, uh, you're useful. Um, his one downfall, 90 agility. 90 agility is pretty bad, um, but, I mean, most cornerbacks get beat on slant routes and stuff like that anyway. I mean, he's probably going to get beat just the same as other cornerbacks would on uh, certain routes. But he has really good coverage, really, really good speed, decent play rec, decent awareness. Um, a little on the shorter side at 5'11", especially compared to the other two that just came out. But he can still catch pretty good. Uh, his tackling is not as good as the other two. He's a really good at jumping, though. 97 jump for 5'11 is really good. Like 97 jump is nice. Um, 87 pursuit. Man and zone are both really good. 96 man, 95 zone. 82 spec catch. 77 hit power is not bad. And 92 press is also not bad. So he, he also looks like a really good card. Uh, especially with that 98 speed, 99 XL. Really, really nice. Uh, really nice speed really nice jumping like, even though he's only 5'11 but 97 jump is really really good so he still should do pretty good against uh those jump balls and stuff like that because he has really good jump and really good spec catch so he'll he'll get the the better animations and his awareness isn't horrible but with that speed he just has makeup speed anyway 98 speed 99 excel is just gonna be really nice for a cornerback so uh I see why he costs as much as he does. But that's it for these new cornerbacks. And that's going to be it for this one. I'm Onyx. And I'm out of here.